Yeah, on top of that, even if he does find a good woman that maybe has the qualities he's looking for, he, she was going to want him to marry her, right? And what does he get out of that? Oh, she can leave and take half and take my kids. Okay. And she's paid to take my kids away from me. She, the, she gets more money if she takes my children. Mm -hmm. And so from the men's point of view, they're just kind of like, F it. Because like women aren't wives nowadays. So now you just want special treatment. And so I think unless we want to do that, I, I think we shouldn't have it. It's never going to happen. So it's kind of just like, you know, yeah. hype, like, in what world? And I also read the anti-suffragists, like actual writings, because I couldn't figure out when I first heard it. I was like, that's crazy. Like, why didn't women want to vote? And they were talking about how this is the beginning of the breakdown of the family. They're mm. trying to break up the family, and that's what happened. Because you're not supposed to have... It's supposed to be like a one man, one... Like a husband and wife, they're supposed to become one in marriage. The nuclear family's yeah. gone. In the first video, she's not wrong that marriage is a losing proposition for a modern woman. But I am still very sad for the men and women who never get to experience the joys and sorrows of living and fighting through life together with someone who becomes your second half. And I fear for the society that results from this. Marriage as a man is like having a gun taped to the back of your head. You can trust someone not to pull the trigger, but that doesn't take the gun away. Never enter a contract when the other party is incentivized to break the contract. That's a big problem because the divorce rate is so high and 80% of those divorces are from women. Laws need to be changed. Men have been getting the negative end of the deal for decades, and no matter how loud we scream for help, no laws are ever changed. The problem is not the contract, but how the contract was written. Men do not modify the contract to their advantage before signing it. Most marriage laws have hidden clauses that make this legal. What most don't realize is that those contracts the states provide are only guidelines, and you can eliminate the parts that destroy you as a man. So, instead of using the state's template, make your own that will work to your advantage. The thing is that in some countries like the United States, there's something called marriage prenup, which doesn't exist in many countries. I think that one helps get rid of negative default stuff in the standard contract. It's difficult as a man who realized what she is saying is true years ago as a Gen X male. The dream was always to get married to a woman who genuinely loves and cherishes you as much as you love and cherish her. It's been impossible to find so I stayed single rather than to get married to someone who was incentivized to leave you for any reason. Like they just got bored. So they can leave you and take half and your kids and all the love and resources you put in, leaving no choice to men. And good luck if they let you see your kids too. It's just a really bad idea and it's very sad. Women have learned how to manipulate men in 10,000 ways. It's hard to find a woman these days with true values. Feminism wasn't the beginning of breaking up families. Families broke up before that too, but rarely because women couldn't care for themselves. They couldn't vote, own land, and were men's property, but the powers that be wanted families to break apart and for women to be able to vote and pay taxes. That way, they could get money from the husband and the wife. Money is usually the reason for any societal change. Not always, but usually. Physical intimacy is a key component of a healthy partnership. You can't help but fear that your spouse no longer finds you attractive or is having an affair when the passion and closeness in your marriage disappear. There will be gaps in your marriage if intimacy is lacking, which could result in a potential loss of verbal and emotional communication with your spouse. Stress, low self-esteem, rejection, and resentment are core causes of a lack of intimacy in marriage, traditionally speaking. But now, we have a bunch of other causes, such as the woke feminist narrative that perpetuates an anti-male agenda and tells women they are empowered because they can deny men any intimacy. This has also resulted in men going their own way or the Mechtel movement that basically has reduced the number of men who want to be in a marriage with women in the first place. A 2019 survey found that 19% of 659 couples were engaged in what is known as a marriage without intimacy. Most of the couples in this category had only had intimate moments once or twice in the previous year, and several of them claimed to have gone longer than a year without engaging in any kind of intimate activity. Comparatively, 
25% of the couples reported being intimate every week, while 21% said they enjoyed intimacy a few times a week, which is a good amount of intimate activity. Around 35% of the couples had had intimacy one to three times each month in their happy marriage. Simply put, women are no longer inspired to engage in intimate activities with their husbands. It is the fault of men who don't expect them to maintain the conduct that got them the ring in the first place, if she even earned it, because they assume it's over once they have the ring. Guys, the moment you cross the bridge from having a girlfriend to a wife, your level of intimacy will statistically decrease. The fact that Western spouses behave the worst in the world is an established fact. They are snobby, they moan, and as I previously mentioned, they cease giving up, and when they do, it's with a lack of enthusiasm. Keep in mind that is starfish intimacy. Wives don't do you any favors while you're out in public. Women just care about how much money you can put in their wallets. Because they have power, wives behave badly. You will lose influence if you marry her. The instant you sign your life away on that marriage certificate, she knows she has you by the balls, and especially when you get her pregnant. Women are aware that marriage is a disadvantage for men. You should be aware of this, and the reason they appear indifferent is that, as soon as you consider filing for divorce, they can cash in the lottery ticket they've been saving up since the day she duped you into going down the aisle. Examining girlfriends and behavior now. Girlfriends act considerably better since they go above and beyond to ensure your happiness. Aside from giving up the booty whenever you ask for it, they also take small extra steps to make your life much easier. Girlfriends make an honest attempt to look their best for you. They exhibit good manners in public. They don't argue, and they are content to be with you. She'll ask you, What color of lipstick do you want, babe? If you say something like, Listen, wear nothing but lipstick and heels tonight. She'll say, Sure, honey, what sort of beer you guys want if I say, Listen, my fellas are coming over to watch the game. Please make some snacks. What would you do if she refused to listen? This is easy. You turn away or perhaps even get up and go. Girlfriends are very aware of this, particularly when they are with a sought-after, valuable man. In terms of women, commitment means to leverage that they have on you as long as you're committed to them. It's a trap, basically. Women aren't wives nowadays and so, Men would rather have a girlfriend than a typical Western wife. As I said before, a woman wants a loyal husband, but she does not want to be a loyal wife. Indeed, she does not want to be any kind of wife. She not only gets 50% of my income, she gets another 20% for the kid. That means I go from having 100% of my income to 30% of my income. No thanks. The difference in leverage is incredible. When that ring goes on that finger, it's gone and isn't coming back. Gain 100 pounds, no intimacy, year-round bad attitude, uncontrolled spending, stop working, sits at home all day, but still takes kids to daycare and hires a house cleaner. I've seen it all and then some. Exceptions are so rare, it's not worth the risk. The happiest men I know date women and do all the fun stuff but have no trouble saying adios to the women who seem determined to make life difficult. The shocking reality of women and marriage is that it's just not worth it for a man, which is why he's leaving the game altogether. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. And let us know your thoughts on this in the comments. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.